All right, ladies, let's get back to business. Where were we, girls? Mm. Now, let's take it to another level. Why would I want a night out with Nick? Why wouldn't you? I think there's something wrong with you, honestly. Come, let me check you. Let me examine you. See, your pore is normal. Your temperature is normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Everything is normal. Or oh, should I think of temporary insanity? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you money for the fundraiser, that's it. At least that's for a good cause. That's enough for three tickets. No, thank you. Why? Why not? You know the main reason why for selling the tickets is to make sure everyone has an equal chance of winning. If we had to do this as an auction, you know it's just the super rich that will be able to keep up in the bidding. Well, except some women don't want a night out with Nick. Why? He's charming, witty, you know, all that a girl wants in a man. Well, that... Tall, handsome. Hey, what do you want in a man? I am not that desperate. I said you were. Okay. Maybe I'm digging too deep into a hole, but seriously, a night out with Nick is worth winning. And he knows how to give a woman a good treat. Why wouldn't he? I'm sure he's had plenty of practice. Since I've known him for, what, the past six months in this hospital, he's dated and chased every single woman under the age of 35. Maybe he's looking for the right person. Oh, please. He's a male equivalent of a right tout. You really don't like this guy, do you? He's not my type and I don't want to date him. Okay. What is your type then, Anas? Because I can't remember you dating any guy for the past three years we've worked in this hospital. I admit. Nick is handsome, charming, witty. But in a relationship, he's a walking disaster. And you know that I'm a pediatrist. I really don't have time for all these things. I'm going to give you more money, so leave me alone. Don't keep bugging me. Who is Anastasia Thompson? I'm supposed to be asking you that. Can't really place a face on that name. Oh, yeah, Tracy says she works at the emergency department. You know her? Oh, yeah, I know her. A very serious and quiet doctor, you know. I've talked to her for like six months now, but I barely know her. How come you don't know her? Because she's always sitting at the opposite end of a very long table and she's it's kind of weird. Oh. You know, I think she's avoiding me. She is the winner of the draw. One night with you and you know her very well. <laughs> so the good thing is I don't get to see her tomorrow because she's on a night shift. So this will afford me more time to really scrutinize her until I finally meet her. Big brother, why are you so uneasy with yourself? It's just a date, not a date date. Whatever. Yeah. You know, I was never in support of this idea anyway. Mm -hmm. What's on TV? Put it on. You are going to need a full body massage before going in there today. Full body massage, why? Because every lady in the hospital is out for your blood. What? You know, sorry, I, you completely lost me. You won last night. Won what? You definitely need that coffee to wake you up. Anastasia, you won the night out with Nicolas. I didn't buy any tickets. How could you have won? No, I didn't. What I remember is giving Tracy money to donate, but that's just it. Which was enough to get several tickets. And I wrote your name on a couple of them. And you happen to be the winner. Well, I am more than happy to give my prize to someone else. Because definitely, I'm not even interested in him. That guy has this huge ego. He's mm -hmm. the top of everybody else.
Who is the other lady we're leaving in prison? She's Anastasia Thompson. She's not supposed to be on the night shift? No, she's on morning shift. See, um, you take the lead to the theater, I'll join you soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask why you decided to give the prize to someone else? Is it that you think I have a personal hygiene problem or something? No, but I just don't go out on dates. It isn't a date, it's a night out. The prize for the win of the draw, and it's tonight. And what if I'm busy? Then you reschedule. You reschedule, or you can go on your own. <laughs> don't you ever try and force me around again. says no to me. We will have a night out. I promise. We will have a night out. Oh, what is wrong with them? Doctor, he was trying to dress himself whilst I was... So it's okay, it does happen. You know, kids want to dress up early without underpants and they cut a bit of skin in the zipper. Yeah, it's nothing serious. I don't have to perform any surgery. Just... Okay. Give him some painkiller to numb the pains while I, I try to manipulate the zip, okay? Okay, doctor, I don't care. Just do anything. Can you do something to make him stop crying, please? Oh, so he's feeling some kind of pain. I can't stop him from crying now, doctor. Doctor, please. You know what? I'll be right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Excuse me, Dr. Thompson. Dr. Thompson. Can I borrow you for a moment, please? Yeah, what? Does this kid with a zip problem, I need someone to distract him whilst I do the necessary? <sighs> please, God. Let her say yes. Let her like it. God, let her say yes. Let her like it. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Fine, um, I'll push room five. Auntie, you tell me I had a story. Yes, darling, I will, okay? Come, have time. Oh, sorry, darling. Oh, go. Shh. Oh, there you go. See. Oh, has the nurse come to give him the tetanus yes. injection? Yes, doctor. Oh, okay. For now, he's just going to experience a bit of sore, it should be okay. It's no cause for alarm. If you have any worry, you can come back for checkup. Thank you very much, doctor. I appreciate it. But, you know, I just did my bit. She did a harder part by telling him a story just to distract him whilst I manipulate it. Okay, thank you very much to both of you. Okay, I have to leave now, so... Okay, okay thank you. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Alright. Thank you very much for being Kids worry you, huh? Was it very obvious? It's just that I don't have to talk with them like you clearly do. No problem. Hey, you know, I never realized you were married with kids. Of course you wouldn't want to have a night out with me. But listen, I'm more than happy to pay for a babysitter and um, all the expenses just for you and your husband to have a night out. 
I am not married and I don't have kids. What I do is purely part of my work. Then if you're free, let's get it over with. I'll pick you up half seven. Yeah. I know the way to your apartment. Cheers. Doctor, I... Oh my god, he looks so cute! Hi. Hi. You ready? So, how long have you been working at King David Hospital? Three years. So, have you always worked at the emergency department? Pretty much. So, so before now, what were you working at? I moved around a bit. Me too. You don't like me, do you? Why would you say that? Because, you know, all night you've not even given a smile. Did I do anything to upset you? Personally, no. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning, as a doctor, I think you do a pretty fine job. But as a person, if you you are a woman, I'm sure you'd be called some pretty nasty names. Well, it's good I'm a man, then. You know, you hop from one bed to another. Seriously, what's that about? Fine, fine actually. Do you want me to prove it to you? No, thanks. Do you find me unattractive? I never said that. Okay, so... If you don't find me unattractive, logically, you find me attractive. You know what? I think you're a very egoistic person. You enjoy hurting people. An egoist, I'll give that to you. Hurting people, no. Making promise I can't keep, no. Love women, yes. Love sex, yes, you know, but my partners understand the situation. You know, I'm not ready for any relationship or any long-term partnership, whatever. I just don't want to get married, that's it. Don't you think that's a bit shallow? Nick, very shallow. Nick, very shallow. That's not a bad reputation, you know. Does that make you like me? You need to do I wonder what is happening between Nick and Anastasia right now. What else will be happening? Eating, drinking, afterwards they go home and have sex. I am so excited about this. I can't wait for the details. Linda, get back to work. <laughs> Thank you for the night. Thank you too. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Tonight was supposed to be a makeover for you and Adina, but I I got angry because you're trying to throw it back in my face. So I just decided we, you go out with me tonight. Couldn't get the time to get a ticket, organize the makeover. I'm sorry. So you're admitting to being a spoiled brat? Forgive me, Mama Sita. Well, there's nothing to forgive. Thank you for dinner. Play your smile. Yeah, me too.
do. So, how did it go? Did you have fun? No, yeah, it was okay. And now it was sexy Nick. Just okay. Yeah. Come on, where did he take you? We had dinner at a restaurant. And what did you eat? Is this an interrogation? <laughs> really? I had a salad and it was very delicious. And? And that's it. You mean Nick just took you home and that's it? Yes. We ate, we talked, and he took me home. Are you all right? And then he took you home. Wow. That was a hell of an evening. Maybe you two have to make another date to make up for that one. Don't you think? No. I am not going on another date with Nick. Okay? You two matchmakers better put an end to it. It stops. It is not going to work. Thank you. Just place a gorgeous woman on the waiting list. Why don't you give me a name? Hey, you know what? I don't have any name. I'm not coming with anyone. Can't you choose between the half dozen women you've gone out with? You know I don't date more than one woman at a time. You've got them all 